In this video, we're going to take a glance into five of my favorite SketchUp plugins, which are very useful for architects. Hi there, I'm Geo, and this is Geo Creations. Let's jump right into the video. For those who don't know, SketchUp is a 3D modeling software, which is very easy to start with and also easy to upgrade your speed and workflow using plugins. There's a large number of third-party developers who develop plugins for SketchUp. You can find most of them in its built-in extension warehouse itself. Some of them are free and some of them are paid. Before starting, make sure to join the community by subscribing the channel. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, we'll start with number 5 in the list, 1001 Bit. This plugin is basically a bridge between SketchUp and other BIM software programs. In this plugin, you can find almost everything you need to model a building in no time. For example, this is wall plugin. You can choose the type of wall. Here I am choosing a basic one. Here you can set the wall alignment left right or center you can set the wall height thickness and also you can save your custom size so let's create a basic wall you can also customize the profile of your wall just like this now let's create an opening it's really a fun way to do it right also, you can create a window frame like this. Or select the edges and make it as a frame by clicking this button over here. With that same option, we can create profiles of any complex edges. Now let's take a look on Roof Maker. Here you can make any profile into a roof. So click on this icon. Now we'll get these options to customize it. Let's create a truss for the roof we made. I'm creating one with the default settings. This will be very very useful if you are showing an exploded isometric view. Which I'll explain how to do that in my upcoming videos. There are many other small tools like fillet and extend like we use in AutoCAD. Also, you can easily build stairs and escalators with this. Click on the button over here and you can choose the type of stair you want. Fill your data like riser height, size of your tread, or width of your staircase, etc. And now the staircase is ready. And also, it's really flexible and you can easily customize it. Okay, now let's move on to our next plugin. Number 4 JHS Power Bar. Here are the set of tools of this plugin which I'm talking about. I've created a helix. Now let's create some points along this curve. So to do that, click on this button over here. What it does is, it creates a point on each vertex of the curve. The curve is basically a series of small lines, right? Now I'm creating a component to demonstrate this plugin. Let it be a sphere. Now select all these points and the component and click on the button right over here. See how amazing it is. If you make a change in the component, every single unit changes accordingly. Interesting, right? Also, you can randomize your selection with these plugins. Click on this button to randomize the scale and this button to randomize the rotation and this one to randomize scale as well as rotation. Obviously, I'm not covering every single option here because I don't want to make this video too long. So let me know in comments if you need me to cover that in part 2. Ok, let's move on to our next plugin. Number 3. Curvy Loft. This is one of my favorite plugins and it's really really useful. In this plugin, we can loft a series of curves to form into a surface, just like this. You can also loft it along your desired path. And also, you can skin a set of edges. If you are enjoying the video till now, consider leaving a like. Now let's move on to the next one in our list. Number 2. S4U Component This plugin is pretty much self-explanatory. Here we can convert a set of lines, faces or even groups into a component. Now let's make the polygons in this surface into components using this button. 
now you can see all the polygons turned into a component amazing right whatever change you make to a single unit will affect all the other units look how useful this is now it's time for number one in our list flowify with this plugin we can bend any object in 3d this is basically a shape bender which works in three dimension this plugin is a little bit hard to use so listen carefully first we need to create a target surface which defines the path let's make it into a group next draw a line parallel to red or green axis and fix it at one of the ends of the surface now copy that same line and fix it to another point in the blue axis just like this and now make this also into a group now we need to define a 2d plane parallel to the target surface Make it also into a group. Now select all the three and make that also into a group. Now go to extension, flowify and click on impose grid. Now look onto the 2D plane. We can see some grids on it. It reflects the polygons on the target surface. Now let's create a model and let's try to cover this plugin. After creating your model, make sure it consists only raw geometry in a group. It means it should not consist any other group or component inside it. Now bring it parallel to our 2D plane. Now go to extension, flowify and again flowify and that's it. Now you can see our model curve along our target surface. Isn't that amazing? Now what you want to do is share this video if you learn something new and if you know any other awesome plugins which you want me to cover in the later videos, describe it in the comments. Now be a part of this small community by subscribing to this channel. If you want my plugin collection, follow me on Instagram and give a DM. Links in the description below. That's it for today. Until next time, see ya.